Unimaginable scene. She was too good to have this happen to her. Two teens and five others found dead at a home in Henrietta. She's gone. They're all gone. Tonight, the investigation and questions about why the suspected killer was even out of prison. There's no reason why these monsters should be let loose to harm innocent children. And that is where we begin at six. Tonight, we are learning two of those teen girls who were killed were at the home for a sleepover. And family members say they've now been told the killer planned the murders. Family members of Brittany Brewer and Ivy Webster also say the alleged killer wanted to invite more girls over for the slumber party. Tonight, they're talking to News Force Kaylee Olivas. She's in Henrietta with the latest. All seven of those people have now been identified by loved ones. Five of those found on this Henrietta property Monday afternoon were kids between the ages of 13 and 17. Their families say now they want answers. They also feel like the justice system has failed them, that this crime could have easily been prevented. I'm angry with the system. This is a man that had priors. He was a sex offender and he was let loose on a sentence that he should have been in there longer. 39-year-old Jesse McFadden pled guilty to first-degree rape and grand larceny in 2003. He was sentenced to 28 years in prison, but was released early. While behind bars, he was also caught with a cell phone he used to send naked pictures to a minor. He was supposed to be in court Monday morning for that, but never showed up. An Amber Alert then went out, claiming McFadden had taken off with two teenage girls, Ivy Webster and Brittany Brewer. We were scared. We just wanted to get our girl back. And then came the conversation no parent wants to ever have. She's gone. They're all gone. And I'm like, you're joking. I was like, he's like, no, they're they're gone. The family says among the seven bodies found were McFadden, his wife of less than a year, and his three stepkids. He wants to kill himself. Fine, kill yourself. But why do a senseless act of killing everybody else? The Webster family also sharing grim details of what law enforcement has told them so far. I know he planned it. I found that out yesterday. He planned the whole thing. He was angry at the world and he didn't care who he hurt. I found out there was other girls that he wanted to have come to. Law enforcement also allegedly shared with Webster that at least three of the victims tried to escape, but McFadden hunted them down and killed them. The family says McFadden also called them Sunday night, telling them all is fine with their daughter. I'm pretty sure they were gone by that point. Just over 24 hours later and hardly any answers, and these families are wondering where do they go from here? They do have one last message for Ivy and Brittany. I love you, Brittany, and we truly miss you. You may be gone, but you'll never be forgotten. You're always in our hearts. She was too good to have this happen to her. In Henrietta, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Kaylee, thank you. Brittany's family is planning to have a car wash benefit this Saturday. All proceeds will go to the families of the kids involved. There are also several ways you can donate to the families online if you'd like to. We have more information at that at KFOR.com. And on